Hey, it's me again, I still exist. I'm sorry for the amount of time between this and the last video. I know I say that it feels like at the start of every progress video now, but hey. Uh, yeah, we're gonna hop back in, I think, where we started. This is the first clip that I have, so I'm assuming it's back where I started. I can't actually remember, but yeah. We're gonna be going to do some Wildy Slayer, because I want to get the emblems to unlock the cosmetic things from uh, the Bounty Hunter store. So yeah, let's, let's get into that. <laughs> the world would be a better place if everyone was Seth Everman. I don't know why I like Crazy Archaeologist so much, but I do, and I just got an emblem from him, so that's pretty cool. You're gonna have to be ready for this. Oh, look at that sexy drop. That is impressive. And then I get a Fedora, which I think is 1 in 128, and I mean, it's a pretty cool drop. You can tip it. I mean, that's all you really need, isn't it? I, I can now tip my Fedora whenever I feel like it, so... Important item, item attained. And after that trip at Crazy Archaeologist, I still have a few more to kill, but yeah, as you can see, we now have 10 emblems, which is pretty, pretty cool. Okay, so let's turn in our emblems, it gets us half a million points, and that means we have enough to be able to get myself one of the whip mixes, but I don't really know which one I want to get. Alright, let's see. Heads, heads, lava, tails, ice. Let's try and catch this. Tails, tails, ice. We're going tails, boy. We're going ice, tails. boys. There you go. And if your gut feeling was fuck, then you switch. But if not, go for it. Grab ice. Ice is good. So yeah, let's uh, put this mixture onto the whip. Also, the whip in game doesn't look anything like the icon on the left of that screen there, or even in your inventory. It, like, there's no black. <laughs> but yeah, I like how all of the whips look. So I really didn't know which one to get. So that's why I flipped the coin. But yeah. Uh, I've got the ice one now. I think at one point, once I've got a stock of abyssal whips, I might get myself the lava one as well, but not straight away. I think I'm out of whips anyway, because this one's going to be needed for either the stash unit or a tent whip at some point. <laughs> Callisto saves bot guide, and he okay. said, "He's like, all right, attack Callisto, and then run over to here, and then as soon as you see Callisto." come on your screen and then just pauses and I, and I rewatch this like three times so I know where to click and it makes me giggle every time <laughs> so yes I too have that reaction when I see Callisto <laughs> as for this lure we're not going to want to use this tree again we're going to run here on this square this little rocky outcrop right here and we're just going to angle our camera down so we can see when Callisto is coming. As soon as you see Callisto come on your screen. Hey, that is one dead bear, my dude. 17k. Because how many kill trips are you doing? <laughs> Depends on how long it is until a PK shows up. <laughs> PK, bloody hell. <laughs> While putting this together, those two clips, I was looking at the time between them. It was literally about a minute and 20 seconds before a PK showed up. So, uh, yeah, that was that was well-timed on that joke there. Just got a Scorpion's task, as you can see there. And now, basically, with Scorpions, you can cannon them in Scorpion's lair. And that is the by far the quickest way of completing this task. And it's actually so quick, in fact that uh, with the zero maths that I have done to figure this out, uh, it is quicker to make cannonballs specifically for this task than to kill regular scorpions. And there's no point skipping it because of how quick it is. So I'm going to make myself some cannonballs real quick. I only need to kill, what, 72? And with Expeditious Bracelets, that's only going to be like 50. So uh, this should be enough. This will get me about 100 and something cannonballs. So... Yeah, let's just make an inventory of this real quick. Yeah, I'm going to record this to show you how quick this task is, because it's absolutely crazy. Uh, is there anyone in here? No. I forgot an anti-poison. That. Was it barrel next? Then they fire it. Then just step out of the room. And... Yeah. <laughs> it's like this now get out of the wildy quick because apparently scorpio poisons for 20 so uh 
Ugh. Uh, but yeah, that was a very quick task. You can look at like the time that I have down here. It probably took me like two minutes. At least I respawned in Edgeville. Oh, look how close I was, dude. <laughs> Chaos Druids. Um, normally I would do these in the Edgeville dungeon, but I think it's probably worth to go to the Elder Chaos Druids. Uh, apparently they're like fairly decent XP, and obviously getting the the pieces will be pretty cool completionist stuff. Uh, I don't know where they are in here. Uh, let me just see. Miscellaneous. Oh, that's uh miscellaneous. Um, I swear they were in here. Another events relevance. Of agility. Okay. Oh, it would, it would be in the chaos druid section, I guess. But yeah, these are pretty cool to uh, fill out the list. I don't expect to get them, obviously. But yeah, uh, let's gear up. I think I just want max prayer. Okay, so I just got the installed chaos druid head, and then, oh hi there, friend. Uh, yeah, so I just got the installed chaos druid head, and I thought it was one of the uh, rogue pieces already. I'm assuming he's doing the clue. Yeah, he is. He's switching into the room plate legs. But yeah, this this seems like it's going to be pretty pretty damn AFK. All right, so I didn't finish the task, and there wasn't a PK or anything, but I got a hard clue. And fossil island, sure. I kind of want to go complete this because this is an easy enough task to gear up for. I just need to grab, uh, like prayer gear and stuff. And yeah, let's go do this real quick. I was going to be uber efficient and do a birdhouse run while I was on the way, and yeah, 77 hunter, that is the first hunter level that I've got in a very long time, and probably will be the first hunter level that I'll get for a very long time in ahead of this. The only way I train hunter is train hunter with, with birdhouses. Alright, we've got the casket, let's see what we're going to get. Okay. Oh heck, there we go, that is the task completed. 70 Wilderness Slayer tasks and 125 points, total of 714. Uh, uh, hello? Yeah, that wasn't as many as I thought, I'll be honest, but yeah. I don't know how long I'm going to be doing Wildy Slayer, I'm having, I'm having a bit of fun, and it's not actually that bad XP. So I might just go for the 100, and that'll just give me a crap load of points. Uh, but yeah, let's go grab a new task and then obviously gonna do another hard clue. A hard casket. <laughs> Alright, beginner clue. Unique. <laughs> no, I'm not even gonna keep that. Jesus. Alright. Uh, just trying out two tick woodcutting. I'm not very good at it at the moment, but I'm going to be doing it a lot and I get a lot better I can promise you that but at some point we're getting there. We go 77 woodcutting Pretty cool. Oh, I'm I, I, I'm getting uh, I'm getting the hang of it now Okay, so as you would have seen in the last clip I was learning how to two t uh, two tick teak. It's It's something that's like it's pretty enjoyable. I guess it's easy to do and it's really good XP but yeah, I I feel I don't want to turn into a freaking efficiency nerd, but I feel bad doing. If I'm gonna do that, I feel like I should probably try and get myself a smoldering stone for the infernal axe, since I want to get um since I want to get a primordial as well. So since I currently don't have a task, I think I'm gonna go grab a uh, task from Duradel. I'm also just gonna give these to this guy real quick, uh, because I don't know what I can get. Um, I know I want. I need. I'll eventually need two ward kits. Uh, am I going to use a D pick one? Maybe. Uh, and these two. I think I can get this. Two hundred and fifty. Is it worth getting? Well, I mean, it's one of the things that I want to get. So there we go. Let's buy this. It will mean I can elk the rest of my staves. Uh, but yeah. Let's just uh, equip this real quick. You will not get the upgrade kick back. Well, I won't be undoing it, so there we go. I do like how the uh, ornamental lava staff looks. It looks pretty cool. So let's uh, deposit this. And that is our lava staff. Now, 
Gonna, I'll call these real quick. And then go grab a task with Dorado. I just messaged a friend of mine saying that I would take a greater demon task because I want to get the steam staff, but... I'll be honest, I've changed my mind. <laughs> I do want the steam staff, and really, I could do this task. It's not going to take long if I go to it in the catacombs, but... I mean, I'm going to be doing a lot of Wildy Slayer, so I'm not too worried about points. So just get that out of here. Black Dragons, let's go do that real quick. That'll take like 20 seconds. Oh heck, I did not realize how close to this level I was, but yeah, I've got 120 XP. There you go, 94 attack. Jeez, I was not... I was. <laughs> that was a bit of a shock. I just saw a red circle and was like, wait, what? KBD. Sure. Okay, so I just got a Dagonoth task. I kind of want to go do DKs, but I want to do Serb. I don't know what to do. I... Uh, let's go, uh, do I want to do DKs? I mean, it's pretty much midnight. You know what, that means it'll hopefully be empty. So yeah, I went to DKs, and then I got a Dragon Spear from Prime. I have no idea how rare that is, but it's another one to add to the collection. The way I was going to clear up a little bit of bank space was I was just going to go take the Dagonoth and my superior bones that I had from Vorkath over to there. I gained 40k XP from them, so yeah, pretty, pretty damn good. Okay, so Necreal task. Um, I haven't done this in a very long time, but I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go and barrage them because I'm on the spell book. Um, well, uh, would it be worth taking magic pots to barrage? I don't know. I kind of want to because I've I've never barraged a Slayer task before, and it'll be really fucking cool. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm gonna probably just take some magic pots to boost up. Alright, let's get this uh, Necriarch at some point. Oh heck, let's not also not die. I uh, don't think I got anything. Okay, so I figured out how I'm going to save myself a little bit of bank space, and that is with, with the dupe bag, as I am now going to call it. Which, if we check it, there we go, it's got 32 mil in it. Uh, it's not really all dupes, it's mostly just uniques that I don't need at the moment. But I kind of want to keep on to like I can't I don't have a BTS I've already got one of them in my house so I may as well put that in there uh but like it's it's just basically small stacks of things that I want to keep but they take up in, in a bank space which I don't really want to give up so yeah um I'm gonna see how expensive we can make this bag also another slightly less important thing uh is that I just got my second frog token which I can't teleport with this. But yeah, what this means is I can go get the outfit for the frog mask and then I can put them in my house and then that's another uh, freed up bank space. So yeah, I'm just going to go grab that and see, put that away. There we go. And look at us looking swish as fuck. Right, let's uh, go. I think it's the fancy dress box that I put them in. Open that up. And wait, hang on. Does the frog mask go in on its own? Oh, okay. Uh, so that could have been a free bank space, but I didn't know that. Hey, smoke double time, boys. Something I hadn't considered is with the release of beginner clues, there is now beginner stash units, and I have completed all of the easy and... Me oh, hang on. There's a medium stash unit that I haven't done as well. But yeah, I'm going to go complete all of the medium and uh, com finish that last medium stash unit and do the beginner stash units. I don't think I can do any of the hard and elite ones because uh, I still need more items, but... I'm gonna 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 do get a bit better. All right, got a hard clue here because I'm gonna go try and kill some jellies to get the uh, mithril boots that I need for the casket for the uh, stash unit. So what we're gonna get in here? Oh, I can't open one in my house apparently. Twitchville. <laughs> Boom. Okay, you know what? Not bad. Now let's go kill some. Get myself another hard casket and probably several different things before I actually get the. Uh... The freaking boots. Okay, so I got one's pair of boots, and then I thought, hey, let's keep going until I get a hard clue. So there is the hard clue. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, I was chinning them. That's because I'm, I can't be bothered to go change my spell book, and it's a lot quicker than just melling them all separately. Yeah, I got the boots, and I got this. Uh, so I think I can go build the stash unit. I can't remember what else I need for it. Um, but yeah. Hang on, I just realized I can put that in there. I won't have the actual thing, but hey. 
the placeholder is better than teal boots. Right here is, uh, wait, what? I need a hat. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I forgot to record it. But yeah, there we go. That is the medium stash units. So that is all medium stash units, all easies and all beginners I've got done, I think. Uh, I'm going to double check what I need for all the hard ones because I think it's just because I don't have um, multiple heraldic shields or heraldic helms that I haven't been able to do them yet. I'm just going to double check that and see what I'm missing. And then I might, because I've just realized that if a master casket uh, stash unit is close enough to a, um, a teleport, I may be able to use POHT and the crystal saw to build it. So I'm going to give that a try as well. Okay, so I'm going to wait a little bit before I go so I can get as long as possible. But yeah, uh, basically the one that I'm going to try and do is I'm going to do the one that's in the bank for the Warriors Guild. Because that's the one that I can think of at the moment that is closest to a bank. Uh, but yeah, with the Crystal Soul that's plus 3, which puts me on 85. And then with this that'll be put another plus 3, which is 88, which is the level I need. So this should work as long as I keep my boost when I leave. I'm, I don't actually know if I do. Okay, I do, yeah. And how long is this actually going to take me? Basically no time at all, yeah. Hey, there we go. Um, I'm trying to remember what this one is. I think this needs a Dragon Defender. A... Uh, this should be in here. This and a Slayer Helm, I think. Hey, there we go. That is one Master Stash unit done. Oh, heck. Okay, one of the master clues requires spine chaps, and to get spine chaps I needed to get a stretched hide. I didn't know uh, where I could find the largest amount of, because uh, I think it's the ranging Dagonoths that you need to kill to get it, and I didn't know where the best place to kill them was, so I was just going through the tunnels trying to find one, and I couldn't find one, and I very nearly died because I <laughs> didn't bring any food because I'm an idiot. But just as I was uh, leaving, I uh, managed, I killed one because I was using my specs to stay alive, I think. I can't actually remember. Um, and I got it first kill, so I have the stretched hide now. So I think I need to go get myself some Dagonoth hide, and then I can ask Sigli the Hunter to make me the Spine Chaps, which I can then go and build the stash unit with. And after a couple Dagonoth kills, I got myself the hide. So over to Sigli, ask for some leg armor, 7.5k, yep, there we go, there is the spined chaps, yeah, um, but yeah, they, they look pretty cool, but if I remember correctly, their stats are god awful, I'm, um, let's just compare them real quick, so plus 17 range bonus, plus 8, yeah, nah, the stats are pretty bad, the defenses aren't even very good, so yeah. Building another stash unit. This one requires the spine chaps, the legends cape, and the abyssal whip. Yeah, which is kind of cool, but it means I only have one whip in my bank again. So, uh, yeah, let's get another one soon. I wasn't paying enough attention while killing some of these jelly boys, and yes, I did remember to actually bring void this time instead of dehyde. But yeah, there we go. 94 range. This is actually pretty quick to kill them. If I had more chins, I'd probably bring them here. But then again, monkey madness caves. I don't know. Okay, so I just ran out of my chins, which is mildly annoying, because that means I got one hard clue from 800 chin chompers. I was kind of hoping I would get more. Oh, blimey, I didn't even... Right, so yeah, I'm probably just going to AFK and kill these for a bit, but yeah, I only got one hard clue. I have the casket in my bank. Uh, I was hoping I could get at least a couple and uh, open them all at once, but I guess we're going to go open that unless I can f think of another way that I'm willing to go collect my... Oh! collect myself some hard clues uh but yeah hang on they were meant to be highlighted just uh there we go oh okay uh <laughs> right i'm gonna try and juggle these dude okay i'm glad that that was that counted as the last step because it would not have been fun to try and take these all the way back, because I don't know if I'd be able to get back here, but what this is in the wilderness, I think, so yeah. Let's go and get this one done now. So I'll have three caskets to open at the end of this, that's not too bad. That's what I was hoping for, to be honest. Dude, is this going to be a full wilderness clue? 
Friggin, I had to do the Chaos Altar, and then here and now I need to go to KBD's Lair. Oof. Hang on, but west of KBD's Lair. Oh, okay, yeah, no, I don't... Sorry, I was getting confused what where that was. It's actually just a wilderness clue, dude. That dude. I'm actually sad. I wanted a full wildy clue. That would've been so cool. But I guess we're off to Varrock. Three hard caskets, let's get some heraldic armor. No. 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 It's, a, it's at least a page that has some value to it, but... And that is going to be the end of the video. I'm sorry that this is so far behind. Like, Song of the Elves came out today, and I was hoping that I'd be able to make a Song of the Elves video, and then I looked at my clips, and I remembered I'm about a month and a bit behind. So... <laughs> I'm going to have to start getting some videos out, but yeah, I'm going to go to Song of the Elves, and it should be some pretty fun stuff.